back into the performance center and I'm going to go into custom performance test. Now what you can see inside this custom performance test is I essentially have three different types of tests that I can create. And they've got to have some preloaded tests, but the nice part is, is that you can create your own tests for whatever it is that you think is important, right? So the systematic test, the best way to describe that is that's like just hitting the same shots kind of, you know, you could set distances kind of like they have here of 35 to 75 and 75 to 100 and 100 to 125 and so on and so forth. And then it's going to give you a score relative to strokes gained or you can create your own test, right? So if I go up here to talk to create new tests and I create a systematic test, I can do this as let's just say, um, let's call it the 150 yardage, right? So it's just, I'm going to have them one 150 yards and then I'm going to add distance. Obviously I'm going to choose that 150 yard shot, right? and then I'm gonna do five shots. I can choose the green complexes that I would like to use, which is super cool. And then I can change whatever, whatever um, pin locations are highlighted. Those are the ones that it's going to choose. And then I can press save and then I can go in here and I can run this test, which is then going to calculate basically the strokes gain for what I'm doing relative to that test. So the first one, is that short pin. Let me hit one shot for you and kind of show you one or two shots and show you how this works inside the systematic approach inside the Performance Center. Okay, so if we're looking at the Performance Center, we got the 150 yard test front pin. You see you got a little bunker right here, right? So I'm trying to get it inside this circle. So I got my 150 yard club. It's gonna be the same yardage, but it's gonna pull up different pin locations because that's what, that's what I had chosen. So let's see how that fares. 144, a little short, right? Once again, I had put it on the combine score, but I could go back and change it to be strokes gain. It's whatever metric you want to use, right? Sometimes the strokes gain, in my opinion, it, it's amazing product, right? Because it gets to show you, hey, how penal was the shot that you hit. But sometimes if you're doing this with like your recreational player, they're gonna get a little bit discouraged because quite frankly, they're never gonna win, right? Because it's hard, the tour players are good, right? But sometimes if you do a combine score, that can make it a little bit more, um, we'll say sensitive to their self-talk, if you will, and you can create your own baselines as to what it is. So now this is 150. You can see it's a little bit longer, there's better air a little longer and left. So I'm gonna club up just a little bit and kind of take a little bit off this one. So this would be my second shot of that systematic test. Okay, so let's see. A little long and left score of 84. So that's pretty good. So rather than you guys watching me do this test, which is super fun, um, let's go in and let me show you some of the ladder tests and let me show you some of the systematic, well, I'll show you some of the systematic tests. Let me show you some of the final tests of the task-oriented um, tests that you can do to help your players compete inside their practice sessions.